Indian temple is not a place of worship or prayer. Are you aware of this? It is not a place of worship or prayer. Today because you don't know what else to do, you are going and doing things that everybody else is doing everywhere. Nobody ever leads a prayer in the Indian temple. These were… if you… there's a whole science of building a temple. This is called as Agama Shastra. If the shape and size of the idol, the mudras that the idol will hold, the mantras that you use to consecrate this, the size and shape of the sanctum sanctorium, the outer parikrama, all these things, there are five basic ingredients. If these five things are properly matched, it will become a very powerful field of energy. So the tradition tells you, every day in the morning before you go to work or anywhere else, first thing is you have a shower, go sit in the temple for some time and then go out into the world. It is like a public battery charging place. Once you go into the world, the nature of the world, the physical material world is such, once you go into the world, every transaction in the world is like this. My profit is your loss, your loss is my profit. If you are not in a certain way, there is a possibility of friction in every single transaction in your life. Isn't it so? Yes? Every word that you utter, every little thing that you exchange, everywhere you can fight with somebody. Because in everything it is like this, if you have… To, somebody has to get something, somebody has to lose something. This is the nature of the material existence. When it is so, unless you are in a certain way within yourself, unless you found something valuable within yourself, at every point you will fight. See, pe people are driving on the streets, they are all on the edge, smallest thing, they are willing to pounce upon each other. Isn't it so? You don't own the road, just if you go into his lane or he comes into your lane, something happens. I've seen people completely freaking out and… <laughs> Do you see this? Because every transaction is a friction if you are not in a certain way within yourself. So every day you go there, charge your batteries and go out so that you sail smoothly through the day and come back. It is also said in the tradition, once you are in the spiritual path, you need not go to the temple. Are you aware of this? Once you are in the spiritual path, you need not go to the temple because now you have self-charging methods. You are charging your own batteries. You don't need to go to the public charging place. So the Indian temple was never a place of worship or prayer. Even now it is not so, though people are slowly trying to make it like a church where they go and pray and ask for this and that. Otherwise, in the tradition they told you, you have to sit there for some time. At least in South India it's still alive. I think in North it's generally dead. And people who come from South India are aware they must sit in the temple for some time. But now they're just touching their bottom to the floor and going away. <laughs> you can… you know, there are live temples which are very, very powerful. If you… they've given, given you something about the Dhyanalinga temple? In this temple there are no rituals, there's no worship, there's no prayer, there's no offerings. It's in total silence, always. You come and sit there, somebody who does not know anything about meditation, you come and sit there, without a single instruction he will become meditative. The very energy is like that. If you're a little sensitive, it'll shake you from the root of your spine. It is so powerful, the impact that it has on you is so big. All the temples were built like that but for different purposes, some for well-being, some for physical well-being, mental well-being, material well-being. Like this, they built various types of temple. There's a whole science behind it. Unfortunately, not knowing how to maintain it, we have killed lots of temples. We've killed them. And today you're building temples just like shopping complexes, probably for the same purpose. Or it's like a social place. Temple has become more like a club. It's okay in United States, you want to meet your own community in a certain atmosphere, so you create a certain thing. But the temple in its original form is a very powerful energy center. It is like a big induction for people to get inducted into a completely different dimension of life. Oh, that should not go. 
that should be there in the world, it's very, very important. But the science of it has been generally lost. It is just being done ritualistically, not knowing the intricacies of what it involves. For more on Sadhguru, visit www.ishafoundation.org.